Yeah, I'm Neil Stevens. I'm the owner and editor of Subsim.com, a website we started in 1997 for submarine and naval historians. Uh, we're probably the biggest resource for submarine games and reviews and articles. And uh, we have a forum with about 80,000 active subscribers right now. Well, Sada Hunter really cemented the, the uh, subsim community. Uh, basically, it was the game, the Sada Hunter 2, that, that really brought out a lot of people into that gaming. Uh, there were gamers before that played Aces of the Deep and, and other games, but with Sada Hunter 2 and Sada Hunter 1, the, uh, it kind of coalesced together, and uh, the website became more popular after that game. Subsim guys, uh, the, the most of the submarine simulation players, they like authenticity, they like historical accuracy, they like the realism that lends to a certain atmosphere while playing the game. Uh, most Silent Hunter fans and Subsim fans are big fans of the Das Boats films. Uh, they like to recreate that atmosphere. They like the, the uh, tense aspect of hunting the merchant ships and also avoiding being the prey of the Allied warships. Yeah, Sada Hunter Online, at the uh, first look, I've got a chance to get uh, some hands-on playing time with it. Looks like it's going to emphasize the uh, RPG elements and the uh, strategic gameplay elements in ways that the other Sada Hunter games never really got a chance to touch on. The simulation aspect may be a little lighter. You won't have as much hands-on control of your targeting, but that'll probably please a lot of the players that always said that they're the captain of the boat and that they prefer to let their targeting officer do that and their navigation officer do his jobs and they just make the strategic controls. Okay, yeah, the multiplayer aspect seems like uh, for Silent Hunter Online, these days with a lot of the games being um, social in nature, a lot of the uh, Flash games that they play on Facebook being real popular, World of Tanks, looks like Silent Hunter Online will capitalize on that a lot and give players an opportunity to, uh, to go online and play and interact with their friends more. I guess it's uh, the feature that impressed me the most in Side Hunter Online is the strategic element where you can man more than one submarine. You actually place them on the map. You uh, interact as BDU more than you do as a captain until you make contact. And then you can switch over to the tactical aspect and play as the captain. Oh, the team, meeting the team was really a good experience. Uh, they're very cordial, very devoted to what they're doing. Um, I can't help but capture some of the enthusiasm that they gave off. Uh, I know that this is a big challenge for them, uh, adapting the Silent Hunter type game to a new area, but uh, I think they've got a good shot at making this a go. Well, I think the Silent Hunter community has something to look forward to. Uh, this game probably won't replace Silent Hunter 3 as a pure simulation but it's going to have a lot of things that make it exciting and it's going to probably expand the uh, gamer base of all the submarine players.